Hansel, let's hurry home so Mom won't worry about us. Hansel, you're so cold and hungry. Would you like to ride on my Christmas Express? It's warm in here, and we have delicious treats. Wait, Hansel, don't go! Sorry, Gretel, but we all have our own path to follow. Perhaps we'll meet next year. Don't worry, Gretel. I'm not upset you've tagged along, but I'm afraid you can't leave so easily. You see, this train is designed to help those who've done something bad before Christmas and wish to make it right. You broke a rule by coming aboard without my permission, but you can make this right. I'd like you to take part in three stories which will be told to the passengers aboard my train. Gretel, if you help me by participating in all three tales, I'll let you lead the train. But if you refuse, you won't be able to lead the train, and neither will your brother. He's here as well. I'll give you until midnight. Now, are you ready for an exciting journey? Take this.
Eliza and my son Tommy were waiting for me at home. The chief said he'd fire me if I didn't. I, I couldn't lose my job. I called Eliza to give her the bad news. I heard Tommy cry out and run off. Eliza supported me as usual. She said she'd talk to him. A few hours later, Eliza called me and asked me if I'd seen Tommy. He had run away and had come to find me. I hadn't, and we still can't find him. Oh, this is my fault. I hope he's okay. because I've made a cool surprise for them. When Dad called and said he couldn't make it, I felt so bad for him. I didn't want him to be alone at his work for Christmas, so I decided to surprise him there. Mom says it's dangerous to go outside because a bear has been wandering around, but I'm not scared. That bear is probably hibernating. I just have to wait for mom to go to sleep, and then I'll sneak out. <laughs> 